What's up friends? Luca from Pokemon DCG Austria here and today we have a deck feature from Medi Huffy's winning Night March decklist. Yeah, well the ECC happened this weekend in Arnheim in Netherlands, in the Netherlands and it was a great event. I loved it there, I loved meeting all the people again and meeting new people and playing competitively. I personally ended up finishing as 13th or, uh, whatever as 13th place uh, as a, yeah whatever you know what I mean <laughs> and it was great fun being there congratulations to media again I saw the finals are I, I mean I rooted for Philip Schultz um, a German friend of mine um, but yeah well what can you do media played great uh, media played well so let's have a look at this deck uh, as you probably know, this deck uh, evolves around its this attack here, Night March, which basically says this attack does 20 damage times the number of Pokémon in your discard pile that have the Night March attack. So, your main strategy is you have two hitters here you want to attack with, and three hitters with Shaman X and its attack Sky Return. You want to attack with Choltik for DCE. Or with Pump Kaboo with a DCE in combination with the Stadium Dimension value, which basically says each uh, Psychic Pokemon attacks cost one colorless less. Um, so, how, why is Lampin in here? Lampin also has the attack Night March, but it's a stage 1 Pokemon and you're never going to get it out because you don't play Litwig in this deck. You just want to discard it with cards like Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor is like the most important card in this deck, without it it wouldn't run that smoothly. Search your deck for up to 3 cards and discard them. This combination with Versus Seeker. This combination with Lampent. And even this combination with Melotic's ability, Sparkling Ripples. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to off one of a Pokemon, you may put a card from a disco pile into your hand. It looks kind of funny with its red eyes here. <laughs> well, so... Let's say, I don't know, you want a specific card you have no chance of getting right now. Let's say, I don't know, there is no DC in your discard pile, you, you're not going to draw the DC. You discard the DC with Battle Compressor and then you play the Melotic down to take the DC into your hand. Which is just amazing. So this deck is really fast. It sets up so quickly, it deals so much damage so early, and it's very, very, very aggressive. You see, your supporter line here is 1 AZ, which is basically basically for Shaman or for Melotic. Uh, 1 Hex Maniac, which is against the Mirror or against <laughs> any, even, I mean, like every other deck which needs Shaman to set up. 1 Judge which can be quite cruel if you know that your opponent has a good hand in standard format and you just want to shuffle it back. Two Lysander for, I don't know, like the Shamans or Giratinas if your opponent plays uh, Giratina Seismitoad and you don't hit the Enhanced Hammer here. Two Sycamores, why just two, you ask? You really don't need more. You have three Acrobikes, which is drawing like, like super speedy. You have four Trainers Mail. Uh, you have three Shamans. That's just, you know, uh, pfft, you don't need more than that. And one Xerosic, uh, I think the Xerosic, uh, he also put it in against the Giratina Toad matchup because he wanted to discard the double dragons on the uh, defending Giratina. But yeah, uh, it's, it's also pretty good against, uh, I don't know, float stones or any, anything else. Uh, one town map, I saw the finals, I also saw, no I didn't saw, I didn't see the top 4 match. That town map is really important. Uh, if you know that your night marches are priced or your one copy cards like Enhanced Hammer or Buddy Buddy Rescue, you just play the town map and you know exactly how to get the card. Very, very, very good. Target Whistle is mainly against the opponent Shamans, so you Put the Shaman X, which you just knocked out on his opponent, uh, on your opponent's bench, and then you play Lysander to get it back and get two easy prize cards. Pretty cool. And Buddy Buddy Rescue. If you run out of your attackers because you have like like eight attackers, but you need to discard some of them to deal a magic number of 180 damage or 160 with Muscle Band. Uh, so that's how you get back your Pokémon to attack with. And just for DC, you really don't need more because you run two Melotics and 
well, you know, your optimal setup looks like uh, seven night marches, uh, eight night marches in your discard pile, two Feebles on your bench, one muscle band, two your pump kapoor, chaotic, a dimension valley and stuff, and just hit for the magic number. Uh, enhanced hammer, this one copy I heard uh, Niklas, who played against him in top eight, he played Giratina Seismitoad, that this enhanced hammer was really crucial. Medi told Niklas that he thought about cutting it for an escape rope, is because escape rope is also a pretty good card, but I think that he didn't regret it, that he didn't cut this card. It's very, very amazing. Let's say your opponent plays Giratina Seismitoad and he starts. So everything he basically wants to do is put a Giratina on his bench, attack a double dragon and have the energy for the next turn to attack with uh, its attack Chaos Wheel, so you're locked, uh, you can't attack any DCs here. So it's your turn, you draw through half of your deck, you get the Enhanced Hammer, you discard the energy, you hit his active Seismitoad or wh whatever, you draw two prize cards and he needs two turns to set up. So next turn, you play Melotic, let's say he, he just attack, t attaches an energy again. Next turn you play Melotic for an Enhanced Hammer, discard the energy again and hit again for 180, so you have drawn four prize cards in two turns. There is nothing he really can do about it. So this single copy I would recommend in every Nightmunch deck, because it's so important. So, uh, I would say that's all, and now we want to see this Nightmunch deck in action. Are you ready for it? Yes you are, I think so. So let's have a look at these games. So, whoop. oh my god, I just had a horrible match about uh, against against the Grand Ninja deck, which is quite obviously from the new set. So, yeah. Uh, whoop, what is this? Metal fighting psychic, uh, colorless dark block. He's called, and I lost the coin flip. So let's see what I'm playing against here. So actually, the interesting thing is that uh, you don't have any disadvantages of, of uh, how should I say, of not starting. Yeah, opponent had no basics, so I'm just going to play Chaltic and Pump Kabu down here. Done. I have a Battle Compressor, I have two Ultra Balls, it's like the perfect start. And oh my god, what is this? Fighting energy, special fighting energy. Uh-huh. It seems like there are new things on the shop. Oh, he plays Guard Jump! Also a card from the new set. And he plays Focus Sash. Oh, this is just great. Oh, my god. This is going to get so annoying. Yes, give me the Xerosic man. Well, this is actually a quite good hand here. I'm just. Ultra balling for Phoebus. And then I'm. Uh, yeah, he scoops. He's like, no, I can't win that one. Uh, uh, he played with Garbodor, which is a quite in interesting deck. Uh, well, the Chirachi could have been annoying, but. Well, that, 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 that deck looks cool. I want to open it in my deck manager. And save. Like, yes, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, save. Uh, yeah, so, next game. Uh, I don't want that my opponents always scoop against me when they see the flip a Joltik. So, yeah, breakpoint, booster, come on. So, next game. I want to get that full art Mew here. Ha ha ha. Oh man. Looking for opponent. Come on, opponent. Are you looking for me as well? Yes, you are. Elgorn. Oh god. Come on. I hope that isn't a Greninja player from two minutes ago. I'm starting. Which is cool. Yes. Uh huh, great. No, doesn't seem like he's the Greninja player from before. Maybe he's playing Healing Toad. The deck that got second at the ECC. 
and I have like a quiet great hand here. So Chaltic on the active, Feebles on the bench. Uh, done. So what is he playing? Because if he's playing Toad, I really need to get my battle compressors pretty quickly. Nope, that's a wrecked ice. So I'm just what is it? All right. I'm just going to play uh, Trainer's Man here for a battle compress. So I'm going to use that. Maybe I uh, like she has many cards here. Uh, one, two, Andy. Yeah, that one. That one. I mean, I know that, she, that uh, my opponent is playing Rusty's, but I want to draw more cards with the Shaman. So, Battle Compressor. Uh, I hate playing against this. Yep, you're not the only person. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, not Caps Lock. Why is Caps Lock on? I'm. Sorry, just recording a deck feature. Uh -huh. Check out Pokemon TCG of Austria at YouTube. Think it's mine. Ah! I hate it. Pokemon TCG of Austria at YouTube. Think it's mine. So, great. Um. So now I I maybe I want to have to check here. Uh I think that's cool because I can versus seeker for it. Uh I didn't have a look through my deck quite properly, but yeah. I want that my opponent draws into a dead hand. Uh oh my god, I have like everything here. Ha, two battle compressors. Yeah. No, it's channel name. I just texted that by Pokemon TCG Austria. Oh god. Pokemon TCG Austria pumps. Up. So, <clears throat> battle compressor number one. Four. So one DC is here. Two DC, three and four. All right. And I don't have any lampants left. Oh, there is one. So one is priced for sure. And I'm going to discard Chaltic here and uh, Pumpkaboo. So I'm dealing 100 damage now. Yep. So, I'm just going. <sighs> yeah. Maybe should have played the Ultra Ball for the Battle Compressor and the Sycamore for the Shaman here. I just want to draw as many cards as possible. I have four Night Marches left in my deck. I want to have at least one sitting on my bench uh, before I play Judge. Well, this is quite okay. <laughs> so yeah, DCE here. And then I'm going to play the judge. So, uh, he draws five cards. And maybe he has just crap in it. And I also draw a pretty decent tower hand here because as uh, trains my life, body body rescue, I even have a versus seeker for Sycamore here. So I'm just going to pass. No, no, not concede. I'm just going to going to pass and uh, am a turn. Let's see what my opponent is doing with his fresh five new cards here. Yeah, he's attacking a water energy. And if he passes, I basically have won the game. Now he's playing Lassander for Shaman. Mm -hmm. So he knows that <laughs> if I'm not able to re treat it, uh, he's fine. So yeah, <laughs> he's passing. Uh, and oh my god, I even have the Melotic here. So I have uh, 3, 5, 100 damage. So I'm just playing the Melotic 4 of uh, Battle Compressor here. Yes. I should have played that Trainer's Mail here before. But it doesn't matter now <laughs> because I'm going to play Battle Compressor for the AC. Uh, so yeah, like Chaltic discarding, Pumpkabu discarding, AZ discarding, doesn't matter anyway. So I'm just going to play a versus Seeker for the AZ. Uh, AZing my Shaman, uh, Pumpkabu in the active spot, and attacking with Nightmark. Now I'm playing good game, man. Good game, man. 
And yeah, that Chuck Shield was absolutely crucial. I mean, I have no idea what he had in his hand before. But yeah, I'm just now my Chicken 4. I think it should be 160. 160 damage and uh, win the game basically just because of the charge. So yeah, I think you saw how this deck works, how powerful it is, how consistent it is. I mean, it's quite basically impossible to have a bad draw with this deck. I mean, sometimes it's it happens. Ask my <laughs> my good friend Simon Eriksson who played the same deck just with two enhanced hammer, and I won against him uh, day two and. Or, uh, I mean 13 rounds or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this deck feature. Um, uh, hit like and subscribe if you did. Let us know if you have any suggest suggestions what could, what we could do better. So yeah, see you at the next deck feature. Peace out.